Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we are going to crack into the rise. Uh, first review we're going to do today is this uh, A Midwinter Night's Dram by High West. Uh, and then the next couple of videos will be this Wilderness Trail Rye and the Sagamore Spirits Rye. So, uh, we're going to dig into this right away here. And... Um, so if you look back on the channel, you'll see that I've done several uh, High West whiskeys, just in general. Um, I've done a review of four different Rendezvous Rise, the 2019, 20, 21, and 2022 versions. Uh, I did a review of Campfire, which is a blend of bourbon, rye, and scotch. Um, and then, unfortunately, I didn't have... Oh, and the single malt. Um, my hunting partner got me a bottle of the single malt, which I uh, did a review of. And then I also put some of that on oak for a little bit while longer. Um, and I think that that's actually turned out uh, much better and actually helped increase the flavor profile uh, a fair bit. Um, I will say the 2022 releases of... Or maybe it was the 2021 releases. I'm not sure which ones it is, but the the labels that are more like Picasso esque looking, like they're more um, cartoony is not the right word because I would say that the the newest labels are cartoonish, but they have a bunch of like vibrant colors and the entire landscape is colored. That campfire, that one, is extremely good. If you get your hands on that, um, go ahead and buy it. It's excellent. Uh, the It's better than the one we have. We have the one that's kind of like the old Life is Good cartoon style. Uh, the name brand, Life is Good. Like, you know how they got like a bunch of cartoony figures on their branded clothing and stuff. And so uh, we have the old, that version of labeling on our High West campfire. It's good. But the, the one with that's like purplish blue background kind of looks like a sky and then has all the other stuff going on, that one's way better. So if you can get your hands on that, go ahead. Um, but this, a Midwinter Night Dram, <clears throat> this is Act 10, Scene 5. Now this is the 10th release. Um, and also in twenty the winter of 2022, so this is December 2022, that's this release. Uh, they also did a 10th anniversary release. And I have not had a chance to get my hands on that at all. I want to say that's a distillery-only release, and they're probably sold out. Uh, this is probably also sold out. Um, this is actually the first bottle I've ever found of this. Um, and I paid $140 for it here um, at probably one of the run-of-the-mill price-wise liquor stores. But uh, the liquor store here in town that has probably the best selection of whiskey. Um, but they're fairly expensive um and so but they did have this and i was able to pick it up and i've watched other reviews of this and a lot of other whiskey reviewers you know say that this act 10 scene 5 is not as good as previous releases but you know what you get what you can and um this is what i've been able to get so pretty excited about it it's ringing in at 49.3 percent ABV or 98.6 proof um it is their rendezvous rye uh then finished in well here uh ba -ba 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 -ba, it says sumptuous marriage of rye whiskeys finished in port barrels so it is their rendezvous rye that they then take and finish in port Asks. And man, so if you look at it, you can see it gives it has a fairly nice and I'll, it's always hard for me to show this because the background behind me is red, so therefore it always shows red, but it has a very nice reddish burgundy honey color to it, amber honey. Um and it's quite nice. On the nose, you can smell some dark fruit. Um it almost has a sherry nose to it. A little bit of rye, some honey, some vanilla, some nice sweet notes. <clears throat> and then a little bit of a floral and um, eucalyptus that 
some of the more typical rye notes on the nose lurking in the background. It's very, very nice. I almost get like a plum and a raisin in there. <clears throat> and it's kind of um, sweet and jammy, uh, like, you know, jelly jam, uh, kind of a overtone to everything. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, on the first sip. Ooh. Okay. Kind of has a very sweet, almost syrupy mouthfeel to it. It's sugary, sweet, vanilla, caramel forward. You pick up some dried, like, apricot in the middle and some dark dried fruits, um, prune kind of stuff in the middle with some nice sweet notes. There's a heft of rye spice and ethanol that kind of rides through everything. Um, you ever had Slivovitz? Kind of has that, that um, characteristic in it. And um, finishes with a little bit of barrel. A little, yeah, you taste a little bit of oak in there. The nose went very dark fruit and floral rye note. <clears throat> very nice, very, very nice. Yeah, there's a rich, sweet caramel forward. Then you get a dry rye spiciness that kind of picks up in that middle palate and carries through to the finish you almost get like um like i use that slivovitz note because you take slivovitz which is a a um a plum brandy and put that prune in there and if you were to eat that prune out of the slivovitz there's kind of that um layer in the finish um you have to be a rye fan i think to really enjoy this it does uh, have some heft in the ethanol. It um, the ethanol mixed with kind of that rye spiciness, black peppery spiciness, kind of comes together to be really, really warm. Um, so it drinks hotter than it actually is. Um, but man, it's really, really good. I do enjoy it. There's enough really nice sweet notes in the middle and enough rye notes in there, uh, along with some really good fruity stuff that's sprinkled in there along the way from that port barrel. Um, it's excellent. So I really, really am hoping I can find another bottle uh, from one of the previous releases. They only put out so many bottles a year. And, uh, you know, I had a hard enough time finding this as is. I doubt I'm going to be able to find an older version. But if I can, I'm definitely going to pick it up. And hopefully it's a lot less than 140 bucks. But, man... Just got nothing bad to say about it. iOS is putting out some really nice stuff. And I also, I'm going to do my best. I keep telling my partner, my hunting partner, he he knows uh, somebody in Salt Lake. I keep telling him, you have to go to the distillery and pick up that 10th anniversary. Of course, he is not. But, um, you know, if, uh, if I can get my hands on it, man, you guys will be uh, lucky enough to be able to see that review. Oh, man, that's all kind of vanilla. Caramel and port. Uh, yep, sweet fruit forward finishes with a nice rice spice. Man, just an excellent, well put together whiskey. Greatly enjoy it. Ooh, there's a little bit of graham cracker on it now. I like that. A, a Midwinter Nights Dram, uh, Act 10, Scene 5, the 2022 release. Um, and, uh, check it out. It's excellent. Uh, hopefully you can get your hands on it. It is pretty hard to come by. Um, you know, there's only going to be a couple of places in each of the states where you can get High West where it's going to be released. Um, your best bet is actually to go to Utah and pick it up yourself, uh, or find a place online that you can order it in from. Um, but if you are so lucky as to find it, please drop in the comments down below what you were able to buy it for. I picked it up for $139.99, uh, $140 here locally in Wyoming. So not a cheap bottle. You're going to want to really enjoy rye if you're going to be paying that kind of price for it. But it is a nice uh, you know, double oak or finished 
rye and uh, i believe if you're a rye fan you will really enjoy this so drop in the comments down below what you can find it for uh where you can find it, what state you're in and what your experience is with a midwinter's night a midwinter night's dram act 10 scene 5 and uh, anything else you have to say about it, I'd love to hear. Check out Life and Whiskey on BitChute and Rumble. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, check us out over there. Uh, I've been actively engaging with people on the comment section, so thank you very much for that. And uh, also, um, feel free to push this out to any people who you think might enjoy this content. I know it's not the most vibrant, and, you know, I don't have fa flashy graphics, and I... You know, don't have the best audio all the time. My videos don't always work that great. But definitely check us. Um, feel free to uh, put the word out there. I'm trying to help people uh, spend their money more wisely. So, you know, if you find that you have similar tastes to mine, then, you you know, feel free to use my reviews as a buyer's guide. And uh, hopefully I can get you narrowed in onto some bottles that you will enjoy and you won't be spending money on bottles that you won't enjoy. So... With that, you guys have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.